What's going on everyone? My name is Eric and today on the channel I'm going to show you how to install a direct mounted pickup. The pickup we're going to be using today is a Seymour Duncan Jupiter, although you can direct mount pretty well any sort of guitar pickup. And what it means to direct mount the pickup is essentially directly mounting this to the body and not using a traditional plastic pickup ring to support the guitar and mount it onto the guitar when you are installing your pickup. Without further ado, let's get to installing a direct mount pickup. Now installing a direct mount pickup is actually a very easy task to do. It's very similar just to installing any sort of other guitar pickup, except you have to do just a few other steps along the ride. In this case here, we are going to be changing out this bridge pickup here. So the first thing that you want to do if you are in this scenario is that you want to take this bridge pickup out and you want to unsolder it or simply clip them off from the toggle switch and the rest of the electronics in that guitar. Now when you're working with direct mount pickups, you're going to be using different kinds of screws. These ones go right into the body so you can see the ends of them are a little bit sharper. Now a good rule to get behind when you are installing direct mount pickups in your guitar, if your guitar is already direct mounted, which it probably should be if you are watching this video. So now at this point in the video, we're going to direct mount this Seymour Duncan Jupiter pickup. And you can do this for any sort of guitar pickup that is going into an electric guitar. So what you wanna take note of is these little tabs here on the sides of the pickup. These are already routed for the regular kinds of screws that are going to hold this into a traditional pickup ring. There are two different ways of how we can convert this standard pickup here to a direct mounted pickup. The first way is actually just taking the initial direct mount screw and actually screw it through here and then widen the hole a little bit. And that is going to be a little bit time consuming. So if you do want to save some time, go slow with the drill and get the correct size drill bit and slowly just drill through these little openings right here. Be careful and don't use a drill bit that is too big, otherwise you risk breaking the tab off. And then you're gonna be able to actually insert the new direct mount screws through the pickup and actually direct mount your guitar pickup. Next thing you wanna do for installing the direct mount pickup on your guitar, you're gonna use a little bit of foam on the inside of the pickup cavity and that is going to help adjust the overall height of the pickup to get it closer or further away from the guitar strings. Every guitar pickup is gonna come with a little bit of foam brand new from the factory. If you don't have any foam and you got the pickup used or something like that, you can use the existing foam that comes with your stock pickup in your direct mounted guitar. Put it under here and make sure it covers the base plate of where the actual pickup is going to sit. And that's pretty well all you need to make sure the pickup actually goes up and down as you need it. So now at this point in the video, the new pickup has been installed and the next thing you have to do is just wire it up to the rest of the guitar's electronics. And if you're new to guitar wiring, I have tons of videos on my channel that go over how to wire up electronics in your guitar and basic soldering tips. And once the new pickup is fully installed with the guitar's electronics and the guitar is back up to tune and everything like that and fully set up, you are then good to start playing. And that's going to do it for today's video. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you learned something new from today's video, make sure you leave it in the comments below. And if you want to see other guitar related maintenance tips and tutorials and things like that, leave that in the comments below as well. And if you're new here, consider subscribing. I have tons more videos like this on my channel that go over guitar maintenance tips and other general guitar videos on this channel as well. Thanks for checking this out and I'll see you next time.